All right, so I get asked this question quite often, and that is, what do I play when I'm not making YouTube videos? This is like the 2022 version of this. I did a video like this a couple years back, and it was for Tekken 7, and I had a lot of fun making that video. The passion just kind of shines, I think, because it's like, it's something I would be doing whether or not I was recording into this microphone or not. So, uh, all love and support. You drop on this. Greatly appreciate it. Going to jump in. This game's called Vampire Survivors. I have played this probably for like the last month, just in my spare time. All right, so I'm trying to think about how to approach this video, right? Do I just jump in and start playing, or do I explain it a little bit first? There's so much going on. All right, this is like the power-up area. I have a lot of this unlocked except for Curse. I can afford it, but I prefer not to have the... Uh, the reason it's called Curse, essentially, making the enemies stronger and all that stuff. Unlocks, we're at 114 out of 120. Might go for one of the unlocks in this. And the last... There's five there. But it's like basically like reaching level 100 on certain characters, level 99 on others. Uh, there's not a whole lot of difference there. I might pick one of these characters. Okay, let's see. Let me see what my options are. Oh, this would be a good one. Yeah, okay, I'll play as this character. This is perfect. I think that's right. Hold on, let me double check. <laughs> let, me, let me just make sure everything's good. Level 99. No, I've already done it with that character. Okay. So it'd be... Let's go with this one. It's a rune tracer. Yep. Well, here we go. Gonna go ahead and jump in. So the game starts kind of just like slowly. And by the end, it's like pure chaos. I'm gonna try to also defeat... Uh, the initial death, if you can. You you always die after the limit. This is a, probably the hardest stage, but I don't think I want to do this one because I, I, I like some of these other ones, right? Let's try this one out. Haven't done this one in a while. I Here's the ones I usually play. This one and this one. Let's go with this one, though. Okay, here, this is something we can get up to three times during this. It's random. We get to kind of pick what kind of... I like this, okay, this song that's playing. Hope it's not copyrighted, by the way. I don't know anything about Vampire Survivor OSTs or anything like that, but hopefully I'm good. This reminds me of the song from Castlevania Symphony of the Night, which is my all-time favorite game. All right, I'm going for level 99. This is probably my absolute favorite. Oh, this is a really good one for this level too. Every two minutes attracts all standard stage items. If you pick up, okay, so we're gonna try to get all these, all these right here. Um, I think this might be good because let me double check really quick. Open Grimoire. Uh, yeah, I need armor. This is perfect. But okay, you get six slots. So you have six weapons and then six slots for the secondary items, which is like this ring, the armor, this thing, the heart cooldown thing. So the way this works, you can, you can collect six initially, but if you... You get them normally, then you can extend it if you like. Let's say I don't, I don't pick the ones up right now. If I don't pick up any of these right now and I wait, then I can hold more than six essentially. This right here is a merchant. You never really use him much. It's gonna be tough, by the way. Okay, what do we want here? We have to plan out everything. I get two rerolls, eight skips, five banished away something, never see it again. Oh, what do I want to do here? I think the most... Okay, the safest route would be... If I'm surviving... I guess if I want to... Yeah, if I want to kill death and try to at least get the little mini cutscene where the uh, like the main death comes out and tries to kill at the end, I probably need to save rune. So the fact that I'm already using the rune tracer... Let me reroll. I like fire wand a lot, but let me just see what else I can get. Okay, this is, this is different. So this item right here... Revives once at 50% health, you can level it up one more time. I'm debating if I want to go that route because I would need the other two things. I'm, I think I'm going to get this. Because I'm trying to collect stuff on the bottom first. So, like, the, you see how the... I didn't mean to pick that up. You see, like, the Rune Tracer... Oh, this is perfect. This is the evolution. So, what I'm going to go with is King Bible and this. We need this and one other version. This is, like, uh, the red one. It shoots red outs. The other one shoots blue. If you have all three, they, they evolve. But they only evolve if you max them out. I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. See how there's these little dots? So this you can level up twice. This can level up, you know, eight times. This eight times. But sometimes if you combine them, like if I have this thing, this, and then the blue version. 
this is a lot to take in. Sorry, I'm like getting overwhelmed. <laughs> uh, all right, we don't need to pick this up. We roll. Let's get this. We're gonna need this anyways. This is perfect. I kind of have a freebie because I have to remember that. I have a freebie because if you think about it. I'm going to be combining two of the weapons later into one slot, so I'll have an extra slot later on. The reason I'm not picking anything else up right now, there's all these things above me. If you pick up the gold or silver ring, uh, these enemies show up. Let's level it up. If you pick up the red arrows, two other enemies show up. I don't want to touch any of that stuff until I have as much as I can first, because once I do that, it's going to be all out chaos. I don't use this character really, so hopefully this video turns out well. I, I need to move my mouse thing. It's going to bother me if I keep it there. I just kind of forget it's even there sometimes. Ooh, let's get that. We'll get the first one. Very simple game, right? But it's kind of addicting once you kind of get everything going. Thought this stage would be kind of different. Everybody does like the library one because it's probably the easiest to farm because it's, it's honestly like a horizontal map. So like if you had escape, you can kind of see all those icons in the middle. It's because I have that ability to brought everything here every two every two minutes. So right now, it's at 145. There it is. That's what I need. See? Evolution, I need these other two. So now this one will be that. Perfect. So now I just have to keep playing. I'll get that in a second. Got to save those. They're all all this stuff's gonna move here in a second, so I need to like stay still, probably get out in the open. There it goes. Okay. Uh, let's go rune tracer again. Keep leveling this up. Why not? Get a little bit of that going. Might just keep the mouse on the screen because I have to keep clicking it to select everything. All right, nice. Oh, the chests, by the way, are kind of addicting. There's there's three different versions. There's a single one, and then there's like the uh, the one that's like three. All right, so you keep going to the weapons. Nice, level two. So as you can see right now in the upper left-hand corner, I have the red one level four, the blue one level two. You'll see what happens. I'm going to get there. That just heals you. Not really a big deal. I'm, I'm still not 100% familiar with everything in the game. There's a lot of stuff. I've actually watched other people's videos on this, and I'm, like, kind of amazed how how little I actually know. All right, so let me go through this right now. We need armor. That's on the map. Two red arrows combine with the leaf we have. The It's a, kind of a shield thing. I'm not sure what I want to do here. I feel like spinach might be a good one. Go there. Increase base damage by 10%, and it's gonna keep going up every time you level it up. Pretty good. Yeah, we got armor, so that's that's for the rune tracer. The little white lines flying everywhere. Hmm. Rune tracer again. I may not actually. I may just go ahead and pick up the armor. It does combine with it. Hold on, let me double check. Yeah, armor. This is kind of what the evolutions look like. And this is like the final evolution you get of each one. This thing is crazy. Uh, so what we're going to be getting is the two red arrows combined into this. You get this right here. We're going to get this weapon in the end. I'm going to pick this up if it pops up. I want this and the... I guess the Bible. We'll go one of those. Or both, probably. The Bible kind of protects because it's like a giant ring around you after a while. Oh, this is so tough to decide. I have to get Duplicator. It's so strong. We don't need to pick up armor because it's on the map. The evolutions for the rune thing we have up there. So you kind of can kind of see the uh, thing there. Thing is, Spellbinder actually goes with the Bible, which I need that later. But Duplicator is so strong, I have to get it. It makes everything just double. It's so strong. It pairs with Lightning Ring. So you don't really need to, like... You don't need to just pair stuff just to have a good build going. Granted, all this goes away anyways, but... Um, Empty Tome is actually pretty good. Cooldown 8%, and it keeps going. But... I'm torn because... I need to start picking up stuff that's going to help me later. 
So the evolution for this is on the map. Evolution for this is on the map. I have this one. The extras I have are spinach for the fire, this for the lightning. How many more slots could I use? I think empty, empty tunnel might be a good one. Let me get it. The more I can get now, the easier it'll be later. Because then I can just pick all the stuff up on the map. Granted, we got a long way to go. Uh, let me trace it. I'm gonna try to get all six weapons evolved in this video, if I can. Granted, this could all go south pretty quick if I'm not careful. You can also die. Hopefully that won't happen. <laughs> Hopefully not. Mm, I'll get that in a minute. How close am I to Rune Trace? Let's see. If I get to eight, I'll just pick up the armor. Try to get as much stuff as I can. Mm, let's see. Go ahead and get the extra revival, I guess. Get it out of the way. Very straightforward game. All right, everything's about to move. Let me go ahead and just stand right here. So I accidentally hit everything. Wound trace. Let's go, babe. Mm, cool down. Let's go ahead and get it. I should have a root tracer right there. I just realized that. Oh, well. Hey, let's, hey there it is. Level 8. All right. Do I want to go get the armor and just level it up? Because I feel like I can get two other things that'll be useful. Actually, I just realized I don't really need the Spellbinder book for the Holy Bible thing. So yeah, let's go ahead and get the armor. We'll get armor. Yep. I'm not going to pick up anything else because it'll take over. I don't know if it's going to give me the thing now. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's random. I think certain ones are timed, actually. Let's see. There it is. That's the evolution. And I'll tell you on the bottom what it actually does. Evolve Rune Tracer explodes when bouncing. Oh, yeah. Well, we got our first evolution. And you can look on the top top left. You'll see it's got one dot, meaning it's kind of evolved and just it's chilling now. And you can kind of guess... Once we get all these things evolved. This game has a lot of flashes. Hopefully it's fine on your eyes. I try to sit back to my monitor when I play this game a little bit. <laughs> it's so it's it's a lot to take in. I need to hurry up and get. If I can get the spellbinder thing, I will then just need the the Bible and the Lancet thing. Whatever it's called. The glowing enemies are actually, I wouldn't, I guess they're considered bosses. They drop the chest usually. Sometimes they just drop a red, a red gem. I don't know. I'll go and get this. I think they always drop a red gem. Let us saw it pop up. We get one little upgrade there. Very chill game to play at night. After my daughter goes to sleep, I'm kind of just like zoned in. This has been like the last month or so. I just play it randomly when I'm like chilling. Everybody's sleeping. I can kind of relax. I might as well pick this up. The okay, we can go ahead and get this now. Chance to freeze enemies in time. We need this. I'll show you why. In order to take down death, you have to kind of have uh, both of these. You have to have the lance, or whatever it's called. And the two rings, which are on the map, then this which shields you, and then the two, I guess, red arrows. Once you get those evolutions, it's pretty much where you... I wouldn't say you, you can't die at the end. You're going to die anyways. That's how the game ends. There's no way to actually beat anything. Okay. This is tough because I want to get the fire wand, but I was going to get it after. So I may... Yes. Yeah, upgrade the one thing we already have. I didn't know that was already six minutes in. All right. We got to be cautious because my only other worry is I don't want to pick up too many things off the ground here because there's a lot of great things we can collect. This little uh, icon next to me on the, like, the left, that's a, like an attract thing where if I, I don't have to be as close to these little gems to pick them up. I think they're called gems. 
Enemies get stronger. It's got to be... Uh... Oh, the wings give you, like, speed boost, essentially. You can walk faster. I got to be cautious because most stages don't have this many upgrades on the, on the map. Ooh, crown extra XP, but I really need to stay disciplined, go for the stuff I really need right now, you know? I should have just picked up the uh, fire wand. See, everything's getting more and more crazy. It starts off kind of slow, and then it just slowly picks up. There's also ways you can put on, like, a turbo mode type thing where the enemies are already faster. But I don't really like that. It's way too, way too fast. This enemy's not glowing, but... Oh, let's go ahead and get, uh... That one. L larger enemies usually are, I guess, considered bosses as well. There's, like, the glowing ones, and there's, like, this one. The weapon I have that slows them down, you'll see them randomly stop. That's pretty much what that is doing. I need to be cautious. Oh, he's already dead. What the world? The blues give you the least amount. Oh, there it is. King Bible. All right, we're set. Now we just need the thing that goes with King Bible, and then we are chilling. The greens give you a little bit more than blue. I don't know if it's like double or triple or what like that. Uh, red gives you the absolute most. There's ways you can get like... All the different evolutions help. All right, what we got? This is on the maps. So I don't need this. That one. Oh, that's close. There's a red one right there. Level seven. There it is, duplicator. Level two. I gotta be cautious not to accidentally bump into other stuff. There it is, Spellbinder. Let's go, baby. All right, we're set. Now all we gotta do, I'm gonna build these up for now. I could go ahead and collect this too. We gotta triple down. Let's go, baby. I absolutely love that, like, whenever we, hopefully we get the five on this one. That is the hope. So I drink some water. Double cooldowns and everything is... I mean, there's so much going on. It starts off so normal. Alright, level 2 King Bible. Let's go, big. Which is gonna... Turns into something really awesome later that completely just kind of spins around you for eternity. That paired with the other thing I'm using. Which hopefully I will show you very, very soon. What are they at right now? Evolution-wise... I need the blue one six more times. What? I'm gonna be here a while, probably. What I'll wind up doing once I combine the the things that shoot the blue and the red out, I'll just say that to keep it simple. Uh, when I combine those, it's gonna be one item. Then I'll have an extra space on my weapon area, and then I'm gonna pick up the fire wands. If I have enough time, I'll level that up too. I'll almost pick that up. I, you know, I could pick those up, but then they'll pop up on the little selection thing. Whenever I have an upgraded, it might kind of dilute the pool a little bit. So I'm gonna kind of just like chill out with what I currently have. Once I get a few evolutions, then I'll start picking up the other items because I'll kind of need to anyways. No right or wrong way to play this. You gotta do what you want. Everybody's got their own kind of builds they like to go for. When I first started, I used garlic, like, religiously. Like, the garlic, uh, I thought was, like, the best thing in the game. Now, I don't even touch it. And it kind of, like, shields you from enemies early on, like, really nicely. I'll just pick this up. Little solo. Not too bad. Hey, we got an upgrade for it. Nice. Once we get this to level 8, we have the chance of getting the evolution of it. But we have to have both at level 8. The other one is already there. I've been wanting to like... I've been playing this game for like a while now. And I've always... Always wanted to share it. But I just never... I never really think about it. I'm like, ah, I'll probably... I have certain games I'll just never cover on my channel, you know. Before we get that to level... Or as well. 
area. Might as well just pick this up. I'll take it. Any upgrades we can get right now, the better. I'm just kind of vibing right now, to be honest with you. Level four on that. Halfway to victory on that one. Once we get that to level eight, I'm going to collect this. It brings all of them to me. Oh, uh, hold on. It's getting kind of. I have different revives too, so if I die, it's not the end of the world. When I first started playing this game, I was so like surprised I would try to find different evolutions. I looked up like guides on how to play the game properly, because I remember I couldn't get past like level 20 the first time I played it. Now it's like I'm not even really paying attention. But it's also because I have all those power-ups too, which really help. Certain enemies, easier to kill than others. There'll be different waves where enemies come at you like this glowing bat. Should drop a uh always go for the weapon. There we go. It's not, it's not really a weapon, it's just like a shield. I'll just pick this up. Sometimes uh you'll get a lot of coins from some of these. Oh, we get our first one of these. Hold on. I haven't I haven't showed you this yet. This is what I'm kind of trying to unlock by getting level 99 with this character, by the way. Alright. You get four choices here. And it's random, so uh, picking up coins, that's not really a good one. Enables critical hits for listed weapons, it's like all the different ones. I don't really have any of those equipped. Man, none of these are really that good. Okay, kind of got a bad batch here. Um, healing is doubled. Recovery HP. Now this, hold on, this might be good for surviving long. You know? Explode on impact. I don't know why it has this one, but not the other one. I'm thinking, like, long term, we don't have any of these. But the healing is doubled. Like, overall. What do I want to do here? I'm torn. Honestly, I might go with this, because eventually I will get this if I can. We'll try it. It's not going to help me now. I think it helps with that one thing. Oh yeah, this is where we're gonna get. This is where the money is at right here. All these enemies come at you. Number five, let's get it, baby. We're cooking now. The most simple game I've probably ever played is oh no. As far as like just chilling out, playing it, not really thinking about anything. When I play it, I can't put it down. I'm trying to prioritize all the weapons right now. Hey, how's it going? Uh, sometimes red gives you an insane boost in your XP. Yeah, we're just kind of collecting another weapon right here. Sometimes not much, sometimes it's a lot, sometimes it's like multiple levels. It's actually insane. Uh, <laughs> you can kind of see that right there. It's kind of kicking in. Hey. Level 7. Level 6. Yo, we're, we're level 46 already, so trying to get to 99 before this ends. We got 30 minutes. It's going to be crazy. What are we at upgrade-wise, I wonder? I don't want to check. I'm just kind of in the zone right now. Sometimes you get overwhelmed with enemies. And there will be a point where I'll be increasing their speeds pretty soon. To get evolutions, it doesn't matter if you do the bottom column as much. Like, if you look right now, like, the spinach leaf is only, like, one out of five. I wouldn't need to have that at five to get the evolution, as long as the weapon is fully evolved. Now, the other... Like, the two main ones we're going to be going for... Okay, it might be time. It might be time. They're both level eight. Hold on. If I even get it. We'll see. We'll see. There it is. We got an extra space back. That is so sick. All right. You're going to like this. I have a good feeling. So right now, it's not much. It's just a little bit. Just 
to wait. Now we have options. We have a lot of options here. So, Lightning Ring is one. I, I think I may go for X's, but that would also make me... I want to go fire. Never mind. We'll just stick to this. I picked up the whole fire thing for that reason. All right. Now we have a chance at... Uh, I'm going to have to skip. When you get all all new, I have to pick something, right? But you, that's when the skips come in handy. Uh, spinach. I don't want to overpick stuff by accident. I don't want to like, pick up too much stuff. Lightning ring, garlic. Um... Man, it just keeps giving me the same thing. Wait, spinach again. Spinach again. All right. More damage? Can't, it can't hurt. All right, now we're at a point where we're kind of getting... We don't have many spots left, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up... I'm going to go ahead and pick up the, I guess, rings. Which, actually... Yeah, let's get the rings first. As I pick these up, we kind of see... This enemy popped up. Which, let me slow him down really quick so I can get around him. Those enemies are actually pretty strong. Lightning ring again. Man, it just keeps giving me the same stuff. Ma okay, magic wand is another one. But it also... I, I really want the fire. I really want that. Armor. I should have just got the other thing. Yo, why, why is the ring... Oh, let me let me go down here really quick. I forgot everything's about to move. Oh, no. Uh, silver ring. Yep, let's get it. Silver ring again. There it is! Let's go, baby. Now two enemies pop up. Can we just get the party started and get all of them, or what? I think I should. Let's go, babe. All right, now we got four of those enemies out. That's all the stuff I would need. Granted, the other things are also really nice. Here's where it gets crazy. To get rewarded for using those, increase enemy speed, health, we're going to have to do this. And the gold ring also does the same thing. So, the enemies will be getting stronger, faster. It's going to be rough. Effects last base area, so you'll look at, like, the size of, uh... Oh, we already killed one of them. They dropped these golden eggs, which kind of boosts your stats up for that character. On a random thing. Okay. I'm kind of torn right now. Do I... I need to get the Bible evolved. That's my next order of, uh, of events here. I really want to pick up... I don't care about the wings for extra speed, because speed is not going to help me. But I may pick up... Uh, let's see. I may pick up this. I have enough time, I feel like. Increases the area of effect, so everything will get just huge at a certain point. I need to find a boss. There we go. All of them dead. Let's go. Mm, enemy speed. Let's go to this other one. So you can kind of see how we started versus what we're at right now. It's night and day difference. I might pick up the other stuff at the end, like the wings and the uh, attractor thing, but I don't think I need to. I think it's more of one of those, uh, like a, if I have enough time, I will, because you also have to like level those up if you want to get them to where you want to use them. At a certain point, you can kind of stand still for a second, which, you know, stretch a little bit. All right, now we got a boss coming in. If I can kill this boss and get the, uh, the Bible's flying around me right now. 
can kind of see how they'll slow down randomly and then they'll speed up. The hope is I get the evolution here. That is dope. It's called uh, v Vespers, I think it is. I could be wrong. Unholy Vespers. All right, it never ends and it turns red. Watch this. There we go. Just kind of chilling now. It'd be tough to like kill us at this point, I feel like. Now, from here on out, it's about leveling up, which we're definitely going to get to the level I was wanting to get to, which is level 99. <laughs> it's like we're already, we're already almost there, you know? Only 16 minutes in, too. How are you all doing, you know? Never thought I'd make a video for this. Never thought. Um, I'm always focused on those, so I probably want the uh, like the evolution for them is absolute king right now. But if they don't pop up, I'll just go for everything else. This right, the candelabra is actually like that's a ca candelabra, candelabra door. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm my brain just can't right now. There's a lot going on. It's gonna be words misprint. Pronounced. I can't even. I, I actually mispronounced. <laughs> mispronounced. That's funny. How convenient. All right. Gold ring increases their speed, health, all that stuff. Just gotta chill here for a second. And a huddle in this area almost. The goal is, if I can survive past 30 minutes, that that is what I'm hoping. But I need all the evolutions first. I, there's no way I can do this without getting high enough level to unlock everything. All right, we're about to get that little uh, every two minute thing brought to us. I'm actually surprised that, uh, okay, there's one of that. Oh, what are we at right now? Okay, so Silver Ring is already done. Gold Ring, we need seven more. We need six on the two red things. So yeah, we're we're far away from being able to evolve. So I'll just do this anyways. If you're close to it, I usually save them if I'm like, because that's the only way to get the evolutions, right? So I'll just do it anyways. Just to kind of give us a little bit of a boost. Because although we're level 77 right now, we're... There we go. Ah, almost picked that up. Oh, this little thing gives you, like, fire breath. It's pretty cool. Which I don't know if it's absolutely necessary at this point. Maybe early on it would have been nice, but... It definitely cooks, like, big time. Let's go for the weapons right now if they pop up. Unless it's the ring or the other two things. Okay. Level 81 already. I might get the attractor thing because it I'll be able to collect these a lot easier. But also, I don't really pick that up now because I have that thing every two two minutes it brings it all to me. So I'm kinda getting it either way. It's a matter of being patient, I guess. Alright. Enemy frequency, let's go, baby. Let's get it. So happy that this turned out okay. Not gonna lie, I was really worried about, uh... Well, first, I, I tried to record this, like, four different times, and my recording device just shut down on me. And so I had to actually go get it replaced, just so I could make this video. And right after this, I'm gonna basically pick a different character and do the same type of video for my movies. All right, let's see what we got. Getting the enemy speed, they'll be more frequent. Time just goes by so quick. 
Because you think you're playing for 30 minutes, you know, because it's a 30 minute stage, but it's really not. I keep stuttering for some reason. Anytime I'm like stressed about something. I had a lot going on this past week, so I'm kind of just like relaxing at this point. All right, let's go. Ooh. Both of these need this, so I'll just keep, keep picking them up. This is the boss right here, which you can just see by the size of him versus everybody else. It's completely different. Look at the kill count, too. That's kind of funny. All right. We are close to... Fire needs two more, so I may hold off. Level up two more times if I get lucky twice, then I can evolve it into the flame skulls or whatever. But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough because there's a lot going on. There's also a chance you can accidentally bump into it if you're not if you're not careful. My brain right now. <laughs> so, oh yeah, Let's go and get that. There's another one up here too. Ooh, that gave me a lot. Fire, come on. There it is. All right, here we go. Is it now, it's it's a chance. It's not always guaranteed, but... There it is. Now, I also have that perk that I unlocked early on from that randomizer thing. Where it's going to detonate when it hits them. There we go, shoot the fireballs out. And they explode. Oh, yeah, this is about to be a crazy run. Not the best I've had. I had one the other day, which I was like, I really wish I had recorded that. I had probably the most money you could make in a single go. It was like infinite enemies. The right wave. You pick up this thing that gives you gold coins if you kill enemies. I've probably got like 20,000 plus on that one little phase. All right, what we got left? I mean, I'm at a point where... I'll save this for now. I'll just keep it on the ground. I'll eventually get it, but... We don't really need these other items, though. I don't really see a use for them yet. I want to kind of just keep them off the grid on me for a minute, because... Once I get these other things maxed out, we'll get the other evolutions. We have two more evolutions to go. And you'll see why they're so important. They slow everything down. Make the game a lot easier. I need to survive a lot longer. Because death kills you very, very quickly. Alright, level 5 on that. Ooh, that was a big level up. Okay, we're going again. Going again. Going again. Going again. Yo, let's get it. Oh my god. That was a lot. Level 8. Oh, here it is. That gold, baby. Just talking about this. I don't know what causes this to keep going, though. Probably not going to get a lot here. And that's the worst thing you want to get during this as well. I Hold on. Do I have both? Oh, well. Let me go ahead and get this. This has to be the, the one evolution, right? I would hope, at least. No? Okay. Never mind. Randomizer. You get three. Three of those a match. You get the one in the beginning, middle, and then this is like the last bit. All right, what do we get here? Now, there, this right here will be really good, but... Oh, freezing enemies generates explosions. I have not seen that. I just unlocked... Wait, you get the same one twice? I thought it was... Well, I guess it is random. Oh, wow. Oh, if this is, doesn't even give you... Oh, it's for the other two, but not the evolved version. I gotta get this, I think. To survive as long as I want to survive. There we go. Yo, I mean, we're we're going crazy right now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up too. I mean, it, hold on. At this point, I have everything else maxed. Out. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and pick up this other one too. We'll go a little faster. There we go. Not that it's really gonna help us track this other stuff. There we go. Man, this has been probably the cleanest run I've had in like a long time. Hey, okay, we got one. We got one! I forgot what it's called, though. Crimson Shroud. 
If I get hit, it does damage back to him, essentially. The hope is I can survive until it does a little, like, screen where it shows... Like, you'll kill the death on the screen, but sometimes be multiple. And this is, like, after 30 minutes, she shows up. We're level 105 now, so... Area of effect means everything is ginormous right now. I can't even see what's going on. We're collecting, look at the pickup range, 33%. Pickup range is insane right now. Come on, Gold Fever! Yo, it's going back up! Movement speed, this might actually help us here. Ah, uh, it's gonna stop. There we go. I mean, my brain right now just can't can't keep up with all this. We've actually picked up every look how many look how many items we have up the top. I don't know if moving fast would help us at this point. I need the other evolution though, because I'm kinda nervous. I got Yeah. I've, everything's maxed. So Yeah, one more one more boss hopefully will help us. And then I can kind of just chill until, uh, until the end. Oh, after you got everything leveled up, you get a choice between the 25 gold coins or restore your health if you get low. I always just go coins. Unless I'm about to die, you know. This is absolute overkill right now. You know, if you go, like, to the first 10 minutes of the video versus now, it's, like, night and day difference. Actually insane. I'm absolutely just shredding through everything. I've never had a run this this good on the, uh, on this stage and everything. Wish you could show, like, your highest level on this one. I don't think I've ever gotten this high. I'll be 120. the bosses might just sit still for a second because moving around is cool but but oh there's one right here watch how fast he dies just because of how strong I am he's actually tanking a lot in the world come on dude just die there we go Never got a five one, okay. We got three once. There it is, okay. We are set for the finale. One and done. Love the visual effects in this game. We can probably just sit still for a second. Right, I should try to maybe I can go for like 150. That would be kind of cool. I've never had a run where I got over 200 though. The highest I ever got was like around 150 or so. Which I guess I should go for it. But I feel like for that kind of run, you want to pick up the crown, which gives you more XP. You know. There'll be a certain wave soon where it'll be like all different, uh, like the enemies will all be like huge, you know what I mean? It's usually like that last one. It's kind of going in a circle right now. <laughs> or a rectangle if you would. I might just, oh, I'm just gonna sit still. 
We're, I mean, we're just kind of vibing right now. There's not a whole lot we can really do extra. We've already leveled up everything that's on the stage. We have all the best stuff, I think, for surviving. Now, a lot of people prefer... Like I said, gar garlic leveled up is kind of cool, but I just prefer this. It's harder to achieve because beams spinning around us, I think, are better than anything else. It's just non-stop, constant attacking. And also, the enemy speed is at all, it's like as fast as it can get in the game. Besides that curse thing, I don't have uh, unlocked on purpose, you know what I mean? And we could play on like a hyper setting where everybody is already faster than the boss here, too. There we go. Single? That might be the last boss. Maybe there was one more, but... I don't think we have another chance to get, uh... I think that might be it. Like, as far as getting... something to find. Hit, like, one of those five... The fibers, if you will. There's, like, five beams and, like, the fireworks. Alright. Four level ups, I'll take. I'm gonna go for 150. That's the goal now. Never thought I would have this kind of run uh, when I first started this. I've been honestly addicted to this game, though. As you can probably tell, like, the... I don't know what they call it. <laughs> it's like the visual stimulation just hits you like a truck. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, this might be good. Now they're all, like, blue. Look at this. Yeah, they're, like, they're way harder to kill. I'm kind of going in survival mode now. They drop red, so that's going to be good. Level up faster. Honestly, I might just... I'm kind of just running through them right now, so... Like, my character is so strong, it doesn't even make sense. The longest I've ever survived is like 35 minutes. And then eventually like death. I mean, it's, it's gonna happen. Some, sometimes you'll get like endless loops where you just have to turn the game off. I've never encountered one of those. Okay, I'm, I'm actually curious how this run's gonna go considering I have everything ready, you know. I'm trying to get to 150, that's the goal. All right, now it's the big enemies and it's like, they're everywhere. Might be bad. I, I have a. I, I can die a few times and I'm fine. I just don't know, like. The little time thing transformed to where it halves enemies' health, I think. And it slowed down just a touch, you know? Hold on. 150, let's go, babe. I might just have to sit here. Because I can't really benefit from moving around. Alright, here we go. Last few seconds. That shows up. I can't even fathom how they programmed this to not like lag or anything. Let me low, please. 155. That was our max. Oh, here goes death. It shows up quickly. All right, I got him frozen. Now I don't know if you if you can you can kill this one. There's one you you can't kill. If the little screen starts like zooming in, then that means you've kind of defeated death, but. The other one kind of pops up and you cannot avoid it, no matter how much health or anything you have. Sometimes multiple show up. Alright, so far so good. Like getting close or staying back here because of like the, so the Bible's now, now there's two of them. Okay, 
Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work. It might be an infinite loop. Because they haven't hit me yet. I would love to get the kill screen thing, though. They, they kill you so fast if you don't have the, uh, the two upgrades that I was talking about. There it is. I did it. There it is. Oh, let me get this gold egg. Hold on. Yeah, we actually beat it. Nice. Death comes from the left and just like shows up. You can't get away. Yep. No matter if you try to go as fast as you can. No matter how much health you die instantly, like health doesn't even matter. Now it'll say stage completed, but I have like so many revives, so look at my health. It doesn't even move, you just die instantly over and over. I just gotta wear out the revives now. That's awesome. For, uh, that was my first try on this video, by the way. I'm I'm really happy I was able to get what I wanted to do done. Now, as far as I know, there's no way to kill this this version of death. The other ones... There it is. Alright. Got an achievement right there. Um, that's it. That is Vampire Survivors. And you can kind of see, like... You can pick a different character. There's different, different items I didn't use as well. I've just been kind of going down through this. Like, if you unlock these, those little randomizer things have, like, different numbers. That's what these are. That's what I was trying to unlock, so. All right, love you all. Thanks for watching. Again, that's, uh, I mean, I, I, you know, I'll leave it up to you guys. If you want an extra video of this, I am always down to make any kind of content for this game. So, all right, that is it. Love you all. Thanks for all the likes and support. Hope you enjoyed the, uh, I wouldn't say behind the scenes, but more of like what I play when I'm not recording. So, all right, take it easy. Peace.